My name is Nora Yanyan, and I work on multi-robot systems. So when you throw a bunch of people in a room, they end up creating some kind of order out of chaos, and they basically get stuff done. But with robotics, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, and so what we work on is how do we actually get robots to collaborate with each other, to build these kinds of hierarchies, to figure out which robots should be doing which tasks and how they should do it. So there's lots of examples of multi-robot systems in the world that affect people that they might not think about. One of them is the robots that make Amazon Prime possible. Uh, basically, instead of a person walking around a warehouse and picking out individual products to put in your order, there's a robot that brings those products to that person and they can pack your order super quickly. I think that people may not know how much robots really affect their daily lives. So this is one of the drones that we use in the lab. This is called the Crazy Fly. Uh, you can see that it's actually pretty tiny. Whoa, there we go. So the way that these systems work in our lab is basically we have a 12 camera tracking system and each of the robots has a pattern of these reflective dots. And based on the pattern of the dots, we can figure out where each of the robots are in the environment. What we were doing in the demos is basically trying to get robots to go from one place to another without hitting each other and doing it in an entirely automatic way where you just place the robots in one place, they swap locations, and all you have to do is tell them where to go. You don't have to tell them how to get there. The algorithm will do that for you. I think in the future, we'll all have robots at home. I think they will be doing all kinds of tasks for us that we can't even imagine right now. Computer science is not just, you know, geeks sitting at computers and making computer programs. I mean, these programs actually do things and make, make impact on our lives.